hands are freezing. We had like uh, 36 degrees this morning, but it's about, about 40 right now. And this is a uh, real clay that I got from a vein, a, a vein, a, a vein, a clay vein, holy heck, in Scapus, Oregon. This stuff, they were excavating the side of the hill and this popped out. So this is going over to a Patreon supporter's house and she has a lovely garden, already has um, a Langstroth beehive there. So we're going to put this in the corner of her garden. Uh, I like, it's in a residential area and I like her um, location because um, it's downwind of the um, the West Hills and up there is a ton of, not a ton, I got several nests that I found up there. So a lot of these logs come with all their natural uh, entrances. So I've plugged it up here. I'll plug this up here because there was like four entrances. So I will... There you go, see? And, even, and if there is anything, any gaps, they will either plug it up or they will use it. But at least that it's reduced and uh, easy to defend. Right, let's turn this bucket around and see what we got. Okay, so here we have a beautiful styled log hive. Look at that, what a stunner. And guess how much it costs? Zero dollars. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the character of this. Now, over the, over the years, there's gonna be moss and all kinds of things going up here, fungi. It'll take on a life of its own, all the creepy crawlers, even the native bees will come in here and burrow and take up home. And I actually drilled the logs to cater for the native bees. I hey, remember guys, I'm paying you by the hour. They're loving the log hives. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, be told to Yeah. Yeah, Oh, Just because I think. You want it sideways, okay? Well, the thing is, so you got to think about the flight path. I mean, if you're used to bees anyway, you can walk yeah. through them no problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Others yeah. would be like, oh, he's just going to push it. I did not expect it to be nearly that big, Mom. Oh. In my head. I expected it to be taller. Okay, well. Did you really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's probably just. In my head, I was picturing it was going to be like six feet tall, but I don't know why I was picturing that. Oh, I was picturing, I was picturing like a stump. I never looked up anything. You just said we're getting a log to put bees in, and I was like, cool. I knew it was going to be upright. <laughs> I've got some uh, 10 foot log homes. Like 10 foot tall? Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that great? Thank you so much. It's so amazing. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so here we're in the garden. What's the wetlands called over there anyway? So in the summertime, this thing is full. 
it's all died back right now but it's amazing garden in here and they've got a wee Langstroth box in here so you come over here and just go through the bushes down here and I don't know if you can see the log from here but probably that sun's blinding it What do you think? I'm so excited. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love doing this.